uh, I have a tricycle I've sort of put together from scrap and from things I bought in all over the world. And it has a children's trailer, and I haven't seen it very many that manage that, so I thought I'd try to uh, show what mine can do and give some people some ideas if they want to take their kids to kindergarten on a, with a tricycle. Uh, the main problem is going to be turning around corners. And so with this one, I've made a special bar that allows me to go a, a really sharp turn. And I spent about two years trying to figure out the right angle for this. So I can turn in about three and a half meter radius. I had to make a really long uh, toe post to make the bicycle work properly, uh, turning both to the right and to the left. And I hung it on the tricycle in the same way as a regular child's uh, trailer would be hung with a safety strap and uh, in my case a bolt instead of a pin that snaps in. Otherwise I hung it around the axle and since that tends to rotate a little I put a, a strap of metal just to keep it from tipping down. I have two batteries, normally. One's uh, 20 ampere hour and one's uh, 15 ampere hours. They weigh 19 kilograms, which doesn't matter on a on a tricycle, really. You could even throw in another 25 kilometer 10 ampere hour battery in it if you feel like it. They're 48 volt batteries. Uh, with uh, these two, I can go. Uh, 120 kilometer or about 80 miles and that's good enough for me usually. I have taken trips that long. I, I put a little latch on this side so I can uh, lock it if I want with a regular padlock. I hung my controller under the seat with tie wraps Usually I don't have any trouble with water, but I have a tarpaulin in the basket and I can throw over the entire tricycle if necessary. Some tricycles have uh, parking brakes in the, in the handlebars built in. But this isn't really necessary because uh, on a tricycle, if you just turn the front wheel 90 degrees, it will always uh, stop. I uh, use a Bafang hub motor instead of a direct drive motor. A Bafang motor has uh, gears, nylon gears, and uh, that will give you an advantage if you're going uphill. My mittens had a tendency to uh, slip a little bit on the throttle, so I uh, put some Velcro with the hooked side up on the throttle itself. Otherwise I have the regular equipment to uh, a uh, speedometer times to a one <laughs> and a bell. I have a rear view mirror and that is really, really handy because I can see the cars coming up behind me. I have a bag of tools, extra tires, pumps, uh, lubricating oil, tire wraps, Allen wrenches, regular wrenches. It's not a bad idea to have a can of that stuff you can spray in a tire when you get a flat. and. Uh, it's supposed to plug up the hole. That has saved me at least on one occasion. Otherwise, I just use horse bandage to wrap around the electronics usually. Right now it's halfway unwrapped. Uh, I don't have any fenders on the back wheel because for some strange reason, uh, as long as I had the fenders on, they made a loud creaking sound and when I got rid of the fenders, they stopped. So uh, I haven't had fenders for several years. I've had this tricycle so probably about four or five years now. These baskets on the twin meridians, and this is a 24 inch, are enormous. 
and you can put in everything including the kitchen sink actually. This is the whole tricycle with the trailer. Once you've uh, got the tricycle all you have to do is find your grandchild and pack him safely into the uh, child trailer and you're ready to ride.